In this video I'd like to talk about music and language. The whole brain works on music and the whole brain works on language. But music and language occupy the exact same parts of the brain. They are actually the same phenomena. Some scientists say that music came before language and some scientists say that language came before music with the human species. And I, I like the argument that music came before language with the human species, an argument presented by Dr. Daniel J. Levitin again. And Daniel J. Levitin says that the elements of music are pitch, as in the height of the sound, and rhythm, and how long the sound is, sustain, and all those elements exist also with animals. So music was probably a phenomenon of the human species even before we were speaking words and before we were talking to each other. We used to sing together and make music together. Now, back in the day, music was actually like a social phenomenon of all people just using music to create experiences together. And uh, only about 200 to 300 years ago, music was divided to two classes the performers and the audience. Uh, when it was divided into two classes, it was started being written the strange musical writing that not everybody understands. But uh, all music theory is really just intervals of pitch in, a, in time, in, in rhythm. So music and language are really the same thing, and learning one reinforces learning the other. And, uh, it would be really easy to learn a language through singing songs, for example.